Creating presets is a great way to save time in your post-process workflow. When you've combined several filters and effects and you want to save that and apply that to other photos, creating a preset is the best way to do that. I've already applied and customized four various filters on this photograph. If we come over onto our right pane, I can scroll down and we can see that I used a rice paper texture to add some dimension to the photograph. Then I used one of the antique filters to give the image a cooling effect. I also added a vignette to darken the edges of the photograph. And then I finished things off with a tone enhancer. Now I want to save this preset so I can come back and use it at a later time. I click on Preset, Save Preset. It's going to ask me to give this a name. So I can call this Sample Preset. And then I can choose whichever folder of presets I'd like to save that into. I can also create new categories for presets. So if I wanted to create a new folder for some new presets, I click on Add New Category. I'll call this Sample Category, click OK. I can even give this a creator and description if I'm sharing with other people. If at any time you're looking to locate your presets folder, simply click on this button here and it will locate the presets folder on your computer. This is helpful anytime you're importing or exporting presets. When you're done labeling, go ahead and click Create, and we can see that that preset is saved for later. We go to Presets, Sample Category, and our sample preset is there for us.